So welcome to today's class. In this class, we're going to talk fully about TradingView.com and what it is. We're going to talk about everything that you need to, uh, you know, every single thing that you need about the software, what you need to know and how to use it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is to open up your web browser and type in TradingView.com. So when you load up the website, this is what you're going to see. It's going to show you um, this landing page where it talks about um, the company, what they have to offer, and um, numerous options about the things that they have to offer. But we're not going to dwell on that because it is I'm going to um, explain everything to you. So the first thing you want to do is to create an account. There's the pro, there's the pro version, the pro plus, and the premium. But um, right now, I don't think that you need to pay for the service just yet. You can just go ahead to create um, a free account, which is this one. If you scroll downward, you're going to see this option to try free basic. And then you can choose to you know sign up with your Google account, your Facebook, Twitter, Ymail, Apple, LinkedIn, or your email, whatever option that works for you. But for me, so I'm just going to go right ahead and do so. But I'm going to skip this part so that uh, I have created my account already. If you look towards the top side of um, towards the top navigation bar, you're going to find about six options there, which says um charts, market, news, screeners, community, and more. And if you click move um further towards the right hand side, you're going to see this icon, which is A for me. But for you, it could be different depending on um what you have saved as your display picture or whatever the first letter of your um, username is is what you're going to find here and what you're going to find there when you click on it is um numerous options about your profile settings accounts and billing your referred friends coins up center in the situation where you need to talk to the customer service you have the option to either go with the dark color team or use the light color team which is not very obvious here until we get to the chart and then you have the option to upgrade for me i'm not going to be upgrading because i already have an upgraded account i only open this account for the sake of this class so i'm just going to start with the first option that we have here which is um, chart so this is what you're going to see when you load up that chart option or something very similar to this now this could look a bit overwhelming you know it's like I'm going to start with the left hand side of the navigation bar. So what you find is first is this um, menu option that says here and this place I'm hovering over. So if I click on it, it's going to load out this option. Now this one for you might say unsaved. You can just click on it and save the um, chart layout. By chart layout, I mean this. Everything that you have here aside from this side of um, the website is what i mean by the chart layout you can click to save it as whatever it is that you have i already have mine saved before now and the first thing you want to make sure you're doing is to make sure that this auto save is on such that when you're analyzing the website will automatically save up your um analysis for you so that when you log off um and when you log off without saving you when you come back in when you come back to the website you're going to have it just right where you stopped and then this next option that you have is to um you know share your analysis with people for example if um you have you have a trading idea that you want to share with your friends or other traders you can have if you have this option shared when you generate a link for them they'll be able to see exactly what you have done and um, the digits and the numbers and all as we go further in the class you would understand this option a lot better so let's not dwell on it as we are only in the beginning part of the next option you have is to rename this thing that you already named here and um just click on this as you can see it says alpha i'm just going to name it example change it to example and click on save and if i come back you see it says example but i don't want it to name that example so i'm just going to change it back to my name which is alpha then i'm just going to come back right here then the next option you have is um the quick search option which is if you want to search for um different drawing tools functions and settings you just go in here for example i want to search for the trend line tool you see as you can see it says trend line here already and then i'm going to find i'm just going to click on it in case in the situation where i do need it and as you can see it's here already now the next option that you have um is your um accounts option like your profile settings account billing and the rest of that i already explained to you in the um, earlier on and then the next option that you have is the what's new option which basically tells you about the new features that has been added to the software and um as you can see there's about two new options and when i click on it this is what's brought out 
um what he says is they are launching their own cryptocurrency and you can see a lot of other updates that they have over time which we would not spend our time on then um it's the next option that you have is the home button for example you want to go back to the home page you can just click on this and then it will take you back to the home page the next option that you do have is the more button which say uh which gives you uh, is more where you can um find other people's ideas market news scripts and all of that but um these three things does not particularly apply to you just yet because we are just in the beginning of our course and you don't want to have you don't want to be looking at too many things so that you don't get confused in the end then the next option you have is the um op the next thing you have here is um the option to either turn on or turn turn off the dark color team and then you have the uh the next thing here is about the, the drawing panel where you can either choose to hide or put it on as you can see when i clicked on it clicked on it when i turned it off this thing right here disappeared and if i turn it on again you're going to find the drawing panel here then the next thing there is um the language options where you can choose to change the um, default language the um, language at which you interact with the software and then that's that about that and okay you also have the option to like you know download the desktop app and if you click on it it's just going to bring you up to this set where you can choose to download it for your windows your mac os and uh linux or linux so the next thing here is the drawing panel now in this drawing panel is where you find multiple um drawing tools that helps you to analyze your chart for example the trend line tool the um, rectangle tool the um a lot of options where you are going to get more familiar with as we go on in the analysis as we go on in the course um first off you have this cross option and what this does is allows you to um you know keep track of where you are in the market and what you're doing for example as you can see when i zoomed in it's like showing me exactly where i'm zooming into and if i move my option if i move my mouse away from where i was before as you can see it's placing focus on there and it's helping me keep focus on um where i am in the market and what i am doing and of course if you look towards the downside which i'm going to zoom into now you're going to see that um it shows you the option of uh, it shows you the date and time of the particular place that you're in in the market and if you look to the right hand side you would see that it shows you the exact price of where you are in the market and that's what that option does to you the next option that you have there and you can choose to not use um the cross tool you can choose to either use the dot arrow and the eraser they basically do the same thing other than the eraser tool so um to save my time instead of always coming back here to you know look for this i can just decide to add it to my favorites and as you can see it's already here so then the next option you have is um this multiple options where it says the trend line tool that i spoke about earlier on it allows you to draw and uh, the trends on your chart we're going to get into that very soon you basically have a ton of options about um drawing tools here from all the options here is about drawing tools and it helps you to you know um, analyze the market better and you know find a trade setup for you then towards the top of um, the software you find this up, um, you find this part of it and uh, it looks like a lot but i promise you it isn't at all here is the option where you can search for the symbol of the assets you plan to analyze for example i am currently on the apple stock but so i'm just going to change this to um, the great british pound versus the united states dollar which is represented as gbp usd the next option that you have is um the time frame options where you can like find multiple time frames for what you um, are about to analyze for example if i change this to one hour it would mean that every single candlestick in on this chart represents one hour of trading that is what that means and if i change this to four hours over here you would see that it changed a little and the, what that means is every single candlestick that you can see on this chart represents four hours of trade of trading then the next option that you have here is the um chart layout option where you can decide to change um how your data is represented for example if you do not want the candlestick option you can change it to the bar option and you can see it changed already but i would not recommend this as it is not as effective as you need it to be and you have other options such as the candle all the candles the line as you can see they are not as accurate and well detailed like the candlesticks as we go on in the chat in the course i'm going to explain each and every one of them better but for now this is the introduction class to how to use this platform so i'll try to keep it as simple all of which i'm going to explain 
later on in the course i am keeping it as simple as possible so that you don't get confused so we're just going to build up on it gradually such that you don't get lost and if you do have any questions please do not hesitate to reach out the next option that you do have is the indicator indicator option where you can add numerous technical indicators as you please and then the next one that you see is the alerts options which basically allows you to set price alerts on the chart for um in a situation where you are not on the chart and you want the software to um alert you of um certain price movements in the market for example let's say you want to be aware when um the pound versus the dollar gets to a certain price let's say 1.3300 you can just set an alert for there and um when price gets to that level you're going to be notified via the website a pop-up and, and via your email the next option that you do have here is the bar replay option which um basically works just like your netflix option to like replay a movie when you like um miss out on a certain scene you can just like take it back to that scene that you missed and watch it the only difference here is you cannot trade what has already happened in the past it only allows you to um you know go back and see how it happened such that you can apply it into your trading in the nearest future the next option that you do have here is the option to undo what you have done and the option to redo in the case where you mistakenly undo what you did and you can also use ctrl z and ctrl y i'm just going to put that on the screen as you can see so that is going to do then the next option that you do have here is to select your chart layout for example you want to analyze um, two assets at once for example you want to analyze two assets at once vertically you can click on this option or if you want to do it horizontally you can click on this one but it is not available for the free option so you can only use that on the paid version of the software the next option that you do have is to manually save your chart which it has already done because we have our auto to auto save turned on already the next option that you do have is the settings is the chart properties which basically allows you to change your chart layout for example we are analyzing currencies not stocks and um currencies do not yield um dividend per se so we do not want that on our chart and because we also also because we want to keep our chart as simple as possible the simpler and cleaner you keep your chart the better it is for you the more information you're able to see at a go so i'm just going to turn off all of these things because as you can see the options that were here before are no longer there and for example you do not like the um, color settings of your candlesticks you can come here and change the body color for this example i'm going to be using blue and as you can see the color for this candlesticks changed but because i am cool with the color that it is at currently i'm just going to leave it at the default color yeah just going to leave it here uh, the next option that you have is um the appearance which um basically talks about the background properties of your chart and for example if you want to use the gradient option or the solid option if i want the gradient option as you can see it's going to move from white to black and uh, whatever color that i decide to use as but this is a variable <laughs> very horrible option i'm just going to keep it solid and leave it at black and um, I do not want the vertical and horizontal grid lines to show on my chart. So I'm just going to, you know, turn the opacity down to zero. You can always adjust this to suit your visual need. For me, I like to see it, see everything very clean and simple. In summary, what, is, what this does for you is to allow you to change your chart properties like the background, the, co the color of your candlesticks and every other option that you want about your chart properties. And it's going to allow you to do that. So I'm just going to click on OK to save what I have done. And you can see my chart property changed a little. That is that about today's class. And I hope that you learned a lot. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I will be available to answer your questions.